You're listening to the Democratic Voice of Burma. This is DVB English News. I'm Joe. In this week's briefing, two children from Myanmar died during flooding in Thailand. A conflict analyst calls military attacks air terror campaign. Plus, another look at what's happening in Sagain region. And a Thai Myanmar arts collective hosts Limbo Festival. A migrant workers' assistance group in Maesai, Thailand, told DVB that two children from Myanmar died due to a lack of medical attention. This was during flooding that hit five locations and affected 150 migrant worker families living in Chiang Rai province this week. Nian Dun, a member of the migrant workers' assistance group, told DVB that 100 Myanmar migrant workers in Thailand were rescued from their homes. They were taken to a temporary shelter set up at monasteries. Rescue teams have struggled to organize relief efforts due to the strength of the floodwaters. Thai authorities stated that a total of 1,091 households in the province have been impacted by flooding. The remnants of Typhoon Yagi arrived in Myanmar this week, which resulted in floods that have displaced an unknown number of people from their homes. David Matheson an independent analyst on conflict and human rights in Myanmar, spoke to DVB. He responded to remarks made by Mean Online during a visit to the Shan state capital Daungi on September 3rd. The regime leader said that his military would launch retaliatory attacks on areas under the control of resistance forces. So I think we're just seeing the Myanmar Air Force and the Myanmar military writ large just intensify an already intensive air terror campaign. We can only really call them revenge strikes, you know, purposely targeting markets. That was David Matheson, an independent analyst on Myanmar's conflict. Over 67 people have been killed by airstrikes in Mongda and Balkda townships of Arakan State since September 9th, the Arakan army stated. At least 20 civilians have been killed in Namkam and Bekon townships of Shan State since September 5th, according to the Daang National Liberation Army and the Kareni Interim Executive Council. Coming up, DVB English news reporter Salman Thane with another look at what's happening in Sagain region. The Myanmar Policy Institute estimates there are 100 PPS Defense Forces or PDF operating in Sagain. But not all of them are under the command of the National Unity Government or Energy Ministry of Defense. The Myanmar Policy Institute President Sotu Sen told DVB that the energy is holding talks with resistant groups, including members of the Nationally for Democracy or NLD in Sakai. The NLD party under Aung San Suu Kyi's leadership governed Myanmar from 2016 until the 2021 coup. Since then, she has been imprisoned by the regime in the capital Nipiro. Following the uprising to the coup, resistant groups have been trying to form a political roadmap for Sakai. In an effort to build a federal democratic Myanmar from the bottom up instead of top down, which has usually been the military and NLD's approach to governing, Sotu Sen said Sakai should be viewed as a microcosm for all of Myanmar due to its ethnic diversity. These three key stakeholders, let's say, right, the energy and also the kind forum, along with ethnic communities and NLD lawmakers, they have to come together. They are having ongoing discussions, right, mostly how they can work together, right, to address the challenges the region has been facing. Pro-military militias called the Busoti in Bamis have found in many villages and towns of Sakai. They are trying to distract any progress made by resistant groups in Chani Myanmar into a federal democratic union. That was DVB English news reporter Salman Thane. A festival of solidarity featuring art, food, comedy, poetry, and music started this week in Chiang Mai, Thailand. It was organized by an ad hoc collective of Thai and Myanmar artists, chefs, curators, designers, researchers, and scholars. For more information, check out a new Burma or Limbo festival on Facebook. Stay tuned to DVB English News for coverage of the events, which run until September 29th. And that's it for this week's briefing. I'm Joe. Tune in every Friday for the weekly briefing podcast. DVB English News is available wherever you get your podcasts. And subscribe to the daily briefing newsletter for the latest on what's happening in Myanmar. Find it on our website english.dvb.no. Find DVB English News on X... Facebook, Instagram, Threads, and TikTok. Subscribe to us on YouTube. 
Thanks for listening.